Alright, this is part 2. If you want to see part 1, please click in the description below. Alright, I'm gonna install the oil pan with a new gasket. Make sure before putting the new gasket is dry and clean all the area here. And here are the magnets. Make sure you put them separately. And before I continue here, here is the torque specification for all these bolts here, 18 10 mm bolts for the oil pan, 69 inch pounds, and the oil drain plug, 36 foot pounds, and make sure you cut the oil ring and the strainer with ATF transmission fluid, and torque the 3 bolts, 10 mm bolts at 8 foot pounds, and I'm gonna be pouring here 3.7 quarters of oil in this transmission, that's including the filter. Once you're done pouring the transmission fluid, do not check the level because it doesn't work like that according to Toyota. What you gotta do is make sure the vehicle is in a flat surface and turn it on and reach normal temperature between 158 and 176 Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna start doing the steps that Toyota says we have to move the shifter from park to L and then return to park and then check the transmission fluid level. But before anything, you have to reach the temperature that Toyota says, the temperature that you see here. So I'm gonna do that at the end of the video. All right, just seconds before installing the oil pan here, make sure the surface here is dry and clean again to make sure the gasket make contact with the surface here very clean. suggestion here do not install all the bolts before installing the oil pan as i did as you can see all the bolts are here so just install about four bolts it should be much better and you will save some time it took me about 15 or 20 minutes to install this oil pan because i installed all the bolts before just install about four bolts just to hold the gasket and that's it and you're gonna have it much easier Gonna jack up the engine again. I have to jack up the engine because of these bolts here on this side. There is no way you can have access to this bolt without jacking up the engine. So that's the reason I jack it up. Alright, it's getting dark in here, it's got late already, so I'm gonna be tightening uh, all the bolts to torque specification right now. Probably it's not gonna be seen because it's, uh, it's getting dark here, So, but you tie them to 69 in inch pounds, that's the torque specification uh, recommended by Toyota. All right, here is the transmission fluid, as you can see, this is original from Toyota. So we're gonna pour the oil in the, in the funnel here, and then we're gonna, we're gonna proceed to do the steps that Toyota says after pouring all the oil here. So in total, I'm gonna be pouring here 3.7 quarters of oil, following what Toyota says. Also make sure there are no leaks. All 
all right we have 3.7 quarters of oil into the transmission right now inside the transmission and you don't check the transmission fluid level at this point because it doesn't work that way according to toyota first you have to turn on the engine and then let the transmission reach normal temperature which is between 158 and 176 fahrenheit once you reach that temperature then you're ready to do the steps that toyota says we have to do so let's go ahead and do that right now all right we're almost there as you can see that is the automatic tr uh, transmission temperature the fluid right there that's the temperature 69 we're almost reaching the we're almost reaching the 70 celsius right there and that's going to be 158 fahrenheit so we're ready to finish this Make sure the emergency brake is engaged and the vehicle is parked in a, in a flat surface. Also, your foot has to be in the brake pedal. Also, this doesn't have to be done with a scanner. I'm doing this with my scanner right now, but you can do this with a temperature gun. Only thing is you have to go beneath the vehicle, beneath the, beneath the transmission oil pan to check the temperature. I paused for about three seconds in each, in each speed, but in each gear, but Toyota doesn't say that, I just like to do that. And I return to park already. Just make sure you, you check the transmission fluid level one more time, check for leaks, and that should be it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and God bless you all.